Hey, it's Stacy. What's more summer than a festival? We're walking through the 2024 Kutztown Folk Festival today. We're ot and abat in Pennsylvania German culture. Let's walk after dinner.
to have a light though. so beautiful, but he just couldn't get himself to ask her out. He just couldn't do it. And he just couldn't talk, couldn't, couldn't say anything. So finally, one day at church, he said, Carlene, he just blurted out, Carlene, can we go have a picnic together? Carlene said, sure, Keith, we can do that. And he was so happy, and Carlene made this really nice uh, picnic lunch, and uh, it was really uh, a nice lunch. But Keith couldn't say anything. I don't know, you ever have this thing, you know, you're interested in a woman, and you're just so shy, you can't talk. So they're walking down the path to have lunch. Keith can't think of anything to say. And uh, Carlene gets out all the nice sandwiches, and she had a nice beverage, and a really nice picnic. He still can't, can't say anything, he's just tongue-tied. So they're walking back and Keith's really feeling embarrassed because he hasn't been able to say anything. And he doesn't know what to do, but he doesn't know what to say. And finally, he looks out over one of the pastures and he sees this bull come up to a cow and give it a big lick and kiss. Okay, this is it. He turns to Carlene and said, Carlene, did you see what that bull just did? Carlene said, yeah, I saw it. And he said, do you think I could do that? And Carlene's eyes lit up and she got a big smile and she said, Sure, you can go do that. That's one of Dad's cows, and he won't mind a bit. <laughs> you know what they say, the, the, the true stories are the funniest. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So we're going to talk about demonstrating the two demonstration demonstrated Okay. Um, we're close. Well, we're about an hour from New Holland. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, and I know where well, that is. You've got the general area. Yep, sure. Uh, but yeah. We have made a loop. So the question is... Where are you from? Strasburg. Strasburg or Strasburg? Strasburg. Well, 1950 was my first year. I was here in 1950. At that time, my grandmother introduced the funnel cakes. Here's where they started for 25 cents apiece. 1950. Inflation, right? Yep, and her niece took it up to the Bloomsburg Fair and they went all over the place. Now they're all over. Okay, we have four daughters. We have 15 grandchildren and 28 great-grandchildren on my last calendar now. And one great-great-grandchild on the, on the way, so I'm getting older every day. Well, I'll be 90 this year, so hope I can make it next year again. We hope. So... And these kids keep me young. <laughs> All right, we have two groups demonstrating for today. The, the other two had to work. So we have two groups demonstrating for you. And the first group that's coming up here, they're trouble mockers, troublemakers, right? The fish trouble mocker. And after that, Nick Snuts. Come and go to fish Nick Snuts. Uh, naughty little children are the fish Nick Snuts. Yeah, so it's okay, Tella. All right, we're gonna bring this group up here and we're gonna do a mix them up. The Trouble Muggers. A fancy dance. I play the other way back. Swing your partner, your partner swing. Now swing your own, or promenade, <laughs> sorry about that, swing so promenade. First couple to the right, four hands, halfway the other way back, leave that lady there, up to the next three hands, halfway the other way back, take her with four hands, halfway the other way back, all alone, three gents forward and back, Side forward and back, leads over, sides over, lead gems forward and back, sides forward and back, leads over, sides over, swing your own at home. this year which is a, a prizer stove it dates back to about the 1920s 1930s um, 
and the left side is like the firebox where you add wood to it, and then that fire comes up and goes across here. You can then, um, we probably would be the sober, right? No, not yet. There's a lever back here that you can pull that up to, and that will circulate the heat around the oven before it goes out the top. Um, so that's what we're cooking today's meal, uh, authentic Pennsylvania Dutch um, chicken pot pie. Our noodles are here, we rolled those out, now we let them sit for about an hour or two um, before we put them in there and uh, hopefully get some good noodles out. They're doing it right. What? I said you guys are doing it right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't buy the, buy the stuff already made. Yeah, that's how my mom made it. Yeah, good. It's chicken pot pie, not chicken pie. Most people are like, oh, chicken pot pie. Yeah, well, some people think it's like, yeah, they like, pie. Uh, pie. Yeah, is, and it's not. The soup version. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Last year we made booba shankles, uh, where that's like a, a big pierogi with like filling in the inside, and you boil it rather than fry it, or you boil it and then sometimes fry it in some onions. Uh, and that was last, last year's endeavor. But every day we have a different chef come in and cook something different. They pre-order meals online. They usually get sold out pretty quick. If I would okay. If I buy a house, I want it. <laughs> Maybe. Okay.
the keypad is my card. So I'm just uh, helping, helping Katie out because I love her. I love her shop. And it's an old market hill. It's like over 100 years old. So when you go in there, it has like the vintage um, tea cabinets and just beautiful. And where are you guys out of? I just, I out of my house. <laughs> so I put this a hobby in. Uh, in this area or? I live in Higgins. I'm about an hour west of here. Higgins, okay, Higgins, PA, okay. Is that out towards our town? Come on, move. a lot up there since I was yep. a young one. Yeah. So are these your cards here? Yes. Yep. What is your first name? Okay. Yes. yes. I grow most of the herbs. Okay. We sell them at the farmer's market. Okay. Yes. Let me know if you, are. you can sample four oils. No, that, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just like Amazing. Yeah. The combination. I love your shirt. Yeah, haunted right Mansion. Yes, thank you. Big Haunted Mansion fan. Yeah, I go to Disney in six days. <laughs> oh, <Yes>. you. <laughs> yes. yes. uh, six. Did you take credit? Yes. Is that the winner? I think so. I do 240. Ah, no, that, that one, 225. That one, uh, I do 240. Not for me, too. Let's get some lunch before we hit the quilt barn and have some bilingual entertainment to round out the day. Let's keep on walking. <laughs> 